Hey, what are you doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Well, it's time to leave this piece of shit. War. Let's get the hell out. So, what is this? Sand? Can we pick up? Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. I don't know what I expected. I know, right? I can't move it. Won't budge. Garrett! Got I knew he was gonna what come are you doing and help. Here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them. believes him, or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. You'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. But what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you to the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will Hurry work. up. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. Can you see any other way out? There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. It's not moving, though. Keep trying. Let me see what I can do. Uh, what is this? Fuck it. Train. I'm not sticking around to use it. What the fuck? Ah, oh, it's not loose enough. How's it looking out there, Cotter? Fine, I suppose. We have to hurry. Someone will come along soon. Damn it! Bugger it all! That might be useful. What are you doing? Getting out of here. Strip this shit. I can see it. it. It's coming loose. 
I'm gonna try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. Well, we are out of here. We gotta get Finn. Oh, shit. We gotta get Finn out. They think he's covering for us and shit. Are we, can we get Finn? Oh, shit. You two idiots, lucky I'm not Frostfinger. Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. It worked, didn't it? Oh, Finn. Am I glad to see you? I'm the sword in the darkness. Help me a fellow brother keep his head. You'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with potato fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. <laughs> and I'm good in a fight. You know Potato that. Fucker. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. Shut up, Cutter. You'll need another blade at your side. Three's better than two. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move. They don't see us like walking out in the up there. Just turn around. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. Or worse. The vows I said here, I meant them. I was a brother. But the Night's Watch betrayed me. And that's on them. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? Run for us, run! Let's get it. It's worse than I thought, isn't it? Roderick! There you are! Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. 
Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane and I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together then. This might be not good if you're not killing all his men. One of them can tell who they are. To uh, the White Hills and it'll kill Ryan. Obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you. me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. What's going on here, Griff? He's disobedient, just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. <laughs> My hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You are pretending. You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Then you'll see who's the man and who's the cripple. <coughs> Actually, I think it's your turn. I don't think so, Roderick. <coughs> oh, what's the cripple up to now, eh? Fancy yourself a warrior? You are nothing, Roderick. Damn, I, I just fucked up the move. Not today. Accept it. You're just embarrassing. What the hell is this? What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders. What are you waiting for? Kill anyone that moves. You heard him. Stop now! You can't do this. Now then, about humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you all right? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roose Bolton. He'll flay you and your sister and your fucking family! I did warn you. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will see that you pay for this! Fuck you. <laughs> Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. I think he wants more. Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? You need to stop! Oh! My eye! 
Get off. Ah! Roderick! Ah! Oh, you fuck! Ah! Ah! You... I... No! No, you can't! Why are you protecting him? I'm not protecting him. I'm protecting Ryan. When Lud hears of this, don't you realize what they'll do to him? If you kill Griff, Ryan will be the one to suffer. I made a promise, Mother. I intend to honor it. I want him dead, believe me. But not at the cost of Ryan's life. Besides, he may still be useful to us. It's all right, Roderick. Find the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. I can't see. I can't see anything. It's our time now. We about to own this shit. Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not until we want it to. We gotta find that traitor. Kill though. the ravens. All of them. Oh damn, you want us to kill the ravens? I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen. That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders! and getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cave. What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking about? I will not let about? you bark orders at me. I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you, you gonna know? do? When are they swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck. I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Best anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> <gasps> Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Fuck Croft. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? <gasps> <gasps> You're the only reason I'm even fucking here. You told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You brought me here. Just talk to me, Beska. We're done talking. Come on, Asha. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. I'm not going to do that. What is your problem? What are you so afraid of? I was a slave. Here, in this fucking city. Yes. Chose the right thing. Holy shit. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started. He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them i after a while i thought the fear was gone i thought i was used to it 
You never get used to something like that. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. You did, though. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. Um... I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I'm not I bought my freedom pity. a long time ago, and I have always hated this place. Hated him. I'm trying to be He's your friend so more than a friend. Faster. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't. in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you, but I can't risk it. I'll take the blame. You can tell Marjorie I snuck in and you tried to stop me. She's already thinking about replacing you. Are you sure you want to risk it? I have to. <sighs> All right. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. It feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? 
Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate she ears anyway. Oh, really? My That's ears enough, are not we'll delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little low. Stop it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? My apologies. I just noticed Lord Zandros and Morgren over there. What a shame. Ruining a perfectly good afternoon with that nonsense. Perhaps someone should encourage them to argue elsewhere. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe that You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! interest. I'm moving on to better things, as I say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Mm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Telling the joke, remember? <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. Wouldn't you like to know? All right. You can keep your secrets. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. I noticed you and Andros arguing earlier. I'm sorry you had to see that. I told him it was not the time. What were you arguing about? 
if you don't mind my asking. Well, a bold question deserves a bold answer, doesn't it? I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner, bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place, that man would be nothing without me. Do you know what Lord Andros is planning? He's acquired a large amount of gold, but I haven't the slightest idea what he intends to buy with it. Whatever it is, he's managed to get a Lannister involved. A Lannister? Lyman. He may only be a third cousin, but he's a Lannister all the same. <laughs> Rickard, are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> Leave him alone. Please excuse me. Thank you for that information. I'm guessing this is the... Which one is the Lannister? Ten? No, no, no. Uh, where did he go? Let me talk to him. Lord Andros? Mira Forrester. Did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit of doing that. You're always so livid, Lord Andros. It can't be good for the Constitution. You think you can mock me? You have no idea what you're up against. Why don't you tell me then? All you need to know is I've got powerful friends, Lady Mira. Tyrion isn't the only Lannister interested in what I have to offer. And if you don't stay out of my way, you'll end up in the Black Shoals with the Imp. Good day, Lady Mira. Yeah, that was the right thing to say. Because I can't. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? <laughs> Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. You seem nervous, my lord. I'm not nervous. I just get clumsy sometimes. No, you seem I'm, nervous. I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly, but I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. You work with Lord Andros, right? Well, yes. We do some business together. What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. You can trust me, Lord Lyman. I won't tell anyone. I... Well... I suppose Lyman, I could just... What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Ah, oh, shit. Lady Marjorie. Run! Lady Marjorie. 
Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Don't tease me, Lord Tarwick. I'll keep your secret safe. I suppose I could tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't mm. go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? Why is she walking into the wall like that? I'm gonna go over here. No, I don't wanna do that. I can't go to... Uh, oh, they're right here. Since I can't speak to them, I get to talk to him again. Everyone is talking about you, Lady Mira. Lord Andros is rather loud. The look on his face. Whatever you did to make him so angry, I applaud you for it. I have to be going. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, 
Just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. I know about your situation, Lyman. How you were hurt in Lannisport. How painful that must have been. You don't know what you're talking about. It's no wonder you still need milk of the poppy. No, I've never... It can't have been easy. Devious. Andros has been holding that over my head for years. Then don't let him. Andros was wrong about you, Lady Mira. You're kind. And you should know what he's... I should warn you. What? What are you doing? Andros is hiring cell swords. Oh, Hundreds shit. of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Ah, oh, shit. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... That army will destroy my family. That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... It's only fair that you know, Lady Mira. What you do with it is up to you. But... I'd better get my affairs in order. What did I tell you? I've had enough of this, Andros. She showed me what you've been doing. I'm done. Oh, shit. Lady Mira. You've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't be so bloody dramatic. Because I'm just getting started. Ha ha ha! Gotcha! Take it to the bank. Thank you.